What's up guys? I am going to be doing a tutorial and a how-to on a few tips on soldering with cell files. Uh, what I'm actually doing here today guys, I'll show you. I have some filter dryers here lined up, cutting the copper. I still, I've got this marked, but uh, I still have to cut it because I need 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 pieces. I only got 10 cut. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder some ends on these. And when I'm done, they're going to look like this. Okay? They're going to look like this. And what I'm doing is making things easier and more efficient for install so they don't have to solder. We got a tool that I actually crimp the fittings on there and it just makes it easier for them. So, you know, it's all about efficiency and let's help the company out and get things done quicker, right? So I will get back into it and give y'all some good solid tips on soldering, okay? And of course, guys, y'all know the next step. Get your copper, get some sandpaper, we got to get this ready to be soldered. And that's a good end right there. See the difference? Nice and clean and shiny, we made some scratches. Some super, bunch of superficial scratches to help the soldering process. Got to be ultra clean, of course, in order to solder. And you just grab your filter dryer here. Okay. Stick it in there. torch and I have a lighter here there's nothing but a striker you don't need it to do anything but make that little strike This is really the main tip here on what I do with my solder. Uh, to make things a little more accessible and easier to get 360 degrees around the pipe. Now I could show y'all the easy way and just solder it and turn it, but that ain't how it is in the field, is it guys? No, it ain't easy, okay? So I'm gonna leave it sitting just the way it is. I'm not gonna make it easy on myself and turn it as I'm soldering it to get the bottom or none of that. Without further ado, I'll show y'all my little tip. Probably not be, gonna be able to hear me when I cut the torch on, because y'all know it's loud. But y'all will see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna heat up the tip right here, and let gravity bend it down so I want a hook on the end of it so I can get the bottom of the pipe easily, okay? Light up your torch. And that's all you want to do right there.
making that easy and that tip will go a long way in helping y'all when y'all get in the field when you when you can't access pipes and you know it's not easy. But that little hook on the end of that self off solder would definitely help things out. And look, look how it did here. Got it all the way on the bottom, 360 degrees. Perfect joint. All right, guys, that's my little tip. I hope that uh, has helped y'all out in some way, shape, or form. But this one simple little thing here makes a world of difference when you're in the field and helps you out tremendously um, on getting, you know, of course, 360 degrees around that pipe. All right, later guys. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope it makes things a little easier for y'all to solder with cell phones out in the field. That's what this is all about. So if I provided y'all with any help, and you took anything away from the video, if I've added value in this video, I would appreciate y'all liking and subscribing and in the comments down below. Uh, comment I subscribed and I will definitely reply to your comment. Thanks. Y'all be safe out there